One thing I wanted to ask, you were instrumental in the decision to go with the one promoter model on Sky and also for that promoter to be Matchroom. All the current massive events we're having, the success you've had, you must feel vindicated by that decision now, unless you have been already. Look, I, you know, I don't, I don't have an ego, Danny. I just, I just love what I do. I get on with it. I really enjoy it. I've been in with Sky for 24 years now. I adore the company I work for. I work hard. My team is deserve all the success. It's, 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 it's not me. There's so many great people. It proves you were right in your decision. Yeah, look, I mean, you know, Barney and, and Barney Francis is a, is a big boxing fan, and you know, and I think we got to a point where we're working with lots of different promoters and good promoters. You know, whether it was Maloney or Frank Warren or, or, or Ricky or Mick Hennessy, you know, they all had. Good Good stables and we just felt it was all a bit diluted and there was just too much and the leisure centers and the, the costs of each show go up and down the country and putting huge amounts in but you know we didn't get the audiences and, and, and boxing at that time was 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 loved by the trade but ignored a bit by the casuals and I think that it, it, it took someone like Eddie to, to come out and, and, and you know really sort of tear it up and revamp it and make the events real fun to come to again you know we saw what Barry's done with the darts and you know look 8,000 10,000 15,000 crowds everyone wants to be at the darts because they have a good time and it comes through the TV and everyone everyone loves it and ultimately he's taken that sport and, and pushed it up and I think Eddie's done a similar thing with, with the boxing I think we were uh, we spoken off camera about the, the, the 2012 team i think the olympics was was a huge moment as well having that here having so much success joshua and campbell and you know and, and katie taylor and all of that you know, team gb and and, and the irish you know, it's fan, absolutely fantastic and katie's been a great role model it's been wonderful working with her aj as well and the casual fans are loving it again and we're we're in the we're in the spotlight a few times a year and i think that's a really good place to be so um yeah i'm just really pleased the way it's worked out but we never rest on our laurels it's always more work ahead it's constantly changing you know, technology and, and the streaming companies coming in now you know we've got to be we've got to be on our toes and try and deliver what we can for our customers and hopefully they have a great time and just before I let you go there seems to be especially on social media a bit of inverted snobbery regarding casual fans from the more hardcore element is it fair to say though that without the influx of casual fans we've had in the last few years we wouldn't be seeing events like this in the UK 100 percent I mean uh, you know there's, there's there's lots of us that like watching any boxing at any level um, but you know, let's be honest, it, it hasn't been a, a really big sport for, um, well, for a, a long time that we were covering it for through the sort of, here yeah, the 90s, the 2000s, you know, we, we remember the likes of your Wayne Alexanders, your Steve Roberts, your, your Takaloos, all those light middles that sort of never really fought each other. It was all good fun. And, you know, we never really had sort of, a, I suppose we had, you know, Joe Calzaghe was brilliant and Ricky Hatton and Nassim Hamad. We had the odd one or two, but I think as well, you know, Sky was developing as a company and, and now we're a, we're a big company and we've got a big reach um, and I think we're looking at the sort of big events and I think that's what it is we've realized that to have less shows but pack and stack them I think it's more easy to digest so actually you try and give the trade fan a great night of boxing but you give the casual fan you know the atmosphere the music the the people at ringside the the names they can get close to the you know, reading about it a bit more in the papers I think I think that's really important and um, I think the AJ nights are special you know it's um whether it's you know your your, your, your family that wants to come now as opposed just to your friends who like the fights and I think that's great and I think what we saw with AJ and Klitschko here is that everybody here all 90,000 people that night you know will remember it as an experience as an event and I think uh, I think look while while the sun is shining on our sports while we've got a great heavyweight division we've got great you know youngsters coming up while um, while people are getting fit in gyms again and, and there's a, a sexy feel to boxing we want to we want to ride with it brilliant Adam Smith thank you very much cheers Danny no problem. Yeah.